What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. So, this week's video is informative. Um, I've had a lot of comments over the last year that are very direct to one topic. So, I'd like to talk about it. Now, there's a story behind this topic that I've been wanting to kind of talk about for a long time. And I'm still not quite ready to actually make that talk. Like, there's a lot to discuss. There's some things that I'd like to talk about. And the story's not quite there yet. So I can't, like, tell the whole story or how I want to present it. But, they're like, there's a lot of thoughts I could add in there. But I'm going to kind of leave those alone and just direct, directly speak, speak on the topic that I want to talk about. So I didn't plan this out. I'm just going off of my current thoughts. And I want to discuss the comments that are relating to um, things that I'm not going to call out specific uh, uh, commentors or comments because I don't think it needs to be but I spoke about this in the last yearly update so if you want to know more about everything go watch my yearly update video I'll put it in the description that will help you understand everything you need to know but I'm gonna make this video specifically on this topic so I can direct people here when they have a comment so the comments that I get are relating my alternative energy research, Stanley Meyer research, PAP noble gas engine research, road and coil research, the Newman research, the entire like overview of the alternative if alternative energy research stuff. Okay, if you look, all right, right above here, there's a bunch of totes, and if you look at the names on them. Okay, you'll see that they live right there behind me, and one day I'll get back to the things in those boxes. Um, so the question that always comes up is, do you are you working on this? Do you believe in this? What happened to Stanley Meyer? What happened to this? Like, where are you at, right? So I'm just going to give you my quick uh, overview thought of that question. I'm going to try to answer that question in, in, a, in a way that's not too terribly long. The answer to that question is where is all of that and where does it stand, which I've again answered in the yearly video, pretty, pretty, I talked about it there. Basically, I have other priorities and I have to take care of those first. That's, that's the gist of it. I've got family, they're all, uh, all my kids that are a certain age and I need to be able to like take care of their needs, their wants and spend time with them. That is difficult because I've been working a lot of hours and doing multiple things trying to be entrepreneurative and do new stuff and help people out and build a, uh, a thing that I'm trying to work on like there's a whole bunch behind the scenes that I don't and some of it sits here and lives on the bench I've been working on I don't really speak about because it's not priority and it's not necessary and I I'm not ready for all that so you know the answer to the question of like where is all your open source research did you give up do you care uh, I've had people I've had people put words in my mouth that I just like quit believing or I don't think it's whatever and it's like well first of all if you're gonna leave a comment uh, speak only words that you've heard me speak don't speak for me so if somebody leaves a comment like uh, what happened to Stanley Myers research and then another guy comes along and says oh he quit believing in that a long time ago like it's really confusing to me because I don't think I ever said that and if I did please tell me where and point it out for me okay I would like to know uh, where the information came from if it's my words someone else said it because there's a lot of gossip on this subject and I'm just here to tell you what it's about so anytime you ever see a comment anytime you ever see something negative about me and the research and the open source community anytime you see any of that direct them to this video and what I will tell those people is you get in contact with me directly through email you can find it on my website I do read all of those as long as they don't end up in the spam or something weird I, sometimes I may miss one just try try again I do read them all I typically don't respond unless they're relevant I have a lot of people email me and I will respond to very few because very few people are asking the right questions right what did Stanley Meyer said ask the right questions so I learned that you've got to ask the right questions. I can see when people email me and they want this, they want that. Like if you want to ask me a question specifically about a certain thing, 
I'll do my best to answer it. Um, so that that's that is the if you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, you ask the guy or the person or whoever it is or whatever it is, right? You go to the source. So I'm I'm the source. So I don't like it when people speak for me because they don't speak the truth. And so if they don't speak the truth, then I would appreciate it if they if those type of individuals would not speak on my behalf. But instead, send people here. They can kind of see where my head's at, what I'm doing, what I've been doing. They can watch the yearly update video. They, they can just get an idea of where I'm at at this current state. Today's date is uh, Saturday, uh, 2 26 2021 I don't even know what year it is. It's, uh, that's hilarious. My watch actually doesn't have the year on it. Anyway, 2021. So, yeah, so send people here and let them listen to this video. So, I'll answer a few questions. Did I quit believing? Um, that is actually a tricky question. I still believe that there is an alternative energy source and that we can create uh, the result that we're looking for. And so I worded that very particularly because the result I'm looking for is different than the result you're looking for uh, or someone else is looking for. Uh, the result I am looking for is a source, right, of energy extracted from somewhere else, right? There is no free lunch. The, the, the conservation of energy is real. But you can extract energy from something right even though it looks like it's coming from nothing so when people say you can't extract energy from nothing well they're they're right you, you can't energy is only exchanged right it's only moving around constantly but if you disrupt that flow of energy from one uh, higher state of energy to a lower state of energy you can use that potential difference to do work that's the answer i'm looking for so how do i create that right and uh, and yes, I'm still working on things, but I'm not focusing on them right now. As I talked in my yearly update, I'm focusing on other things. Go watch that video if you want to know more. So, again, I'm still interested. The website's still up. The opensourceenergy.org is still up. Thank you to the anonymous individual who is keeping that thing alive and the few who are still moderating it. It's a big deal. And I haven't been there in a while because I don't have the time. Uh, but I appreciate those individuals. And... Um, Thank you. It means a lot. Um, I try to do what I can when I can, but in the meantime, those individuals are taking care of it. One, one day it may die and blow up and disappear. I'll do my best to save it and keep it going. But to be honest, there is a group of individuals who have kept that thing going. There's a group of individuals on the Facebook group, which I don't even look at because I don't use Facebook. But there is a group on Facebook that is related to these topics, and they're still going. And thanks to those individuals, right? No names. They're all anonymous. You guys know who you are. I am greatly appreciative of everything that you guys have, do, have, have done and are doing and continue to do. Because one day, I'm going to find some time. I'm going to get back into it. And I'm going to be directly focusing on starting topic for me is Mr. Newman. I still have work to do there. I still have a lot of things I learned. A lot of very interesting things I want to finish. And a lot of really cool ideas I've been jotting down over the years that I haven't been able to work on it. So for those of you who say, oh, yeah, yeah Russ just gave up. He doesn't believe anymore. He don't think it. I never said that. And if I did say that, please point out where I said that. Okay? There is a lot of discussion that could be said around that. And that story is not finished. So I'm not going to tell you that story. Um, it's the whole story from the beginning till now. That whole story is still progressing. But there are some things that changed over the last couple of years that made me think differently but I never once said anywhere and I never told anyone that I don't believe that that whole method of what we're trying to do is just something I don't believe in I didn't ever say that so I believe there is a method to the description I just said a second ago that will be successful and that can be used for these applications and that is what I want to do I want to focus on those things um, I just can't do it right now uh, right now, I've actually been enjoying the hobby of flying RC airplanes. Um, for those of you who didn't see this in the last video, because you're not paying attention. I'll show it one more time. That bad boy is going in the monster airplane. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay? That is pretty cool. So, 
the kids and I like to do this. It's a hobby. So I'm spending time with my family doing a hobby that I enjoy, that I've always wanted to do since a kid, but now I get to do it with my kids as a big kid, and I'm enjoying it, because now I actually have a tiny bit of money I can put here or there, to be fair. Most everything I bought in here, I probably spent less than... I'd say in the last year I spent less than 500 bucks on the total hobby just using random crap buying junk from people giving me stuff and rebuilding things that's actually the biggest single investment I've made yet and I bought that for half price from a guy at the airfield so I can't spend money on the hobby because I don't have it but I'm just saying I've been doing, doing stuff with my kids so anyway enough of that, that listen if you don't hear from me then you didn't hear it because I'm the only one who can speak the truth about me right I know what I did, I know what I believe, I know what I can do, I know what I want to do, I know what I'm able to do, and I know all of those things that no one else can speak about unless I say them. So ask me, right? I go out of my way to call people that are being negative about me to just talk to those individuals just to have the conversation of clarity. Because if they think one thing and I say another, then that doesn't work out. But if I can talk to them directly and then they go away and still say the same thing that I didn't say, I can't help them. Only God can help them, right? And that has happened before. So I, I, I do my due diligence to be just real, be honest, right? I am a real individual. I'm just Russ. Everybody who has met me in person has told me, wow, you're just like the guy on your videos. Like, well, what did you expect? I don't put a front up, right? There's a comment on the last video that they thought the whole thing was like staged and I don't even know what specifics they were talking about, but I literally responded to that comment with, I am confused. I don't understand these type of comments. Like I just, I post videos on this YouTube channel about things that I want to do, right? So I have learned in the past, it took me a long time to figure this out. Maybe this will help someone, so I'll share it. It took me a long time to figure out, right? Let me make sure this thing's still recording because I think it's getting full. I don't want it to die again on me. Yeah, it looks like it's good. So I've had a lot of people in in the past tell me, you know, that I, I honestly I just lost my train of thought. But the the um, now I got to think about what I was going to say. I really don't want to cut this video. Oh, yeah, I've tried to I've tried to do things to make it my YouTube channel grow. Right, I've tried to try to make it sex. I've had some success. I've had some highs and dips down. Kind of how you can go back and look at the whole history. I've been on this YouTube channel since 2006, just after they opened. Go look. That's a really long time, and I've got like 58,000 subscribers. <clears throat> that's terrible in today's world. In today's YouTube world, like that's nothing, right? But it took me 14 years to get that, and I'm happy with that. And how many people actually actually watch my video right now? Maybe 500 people. Those 500 people are interested in what I have to say, in what I am doing, and the adventure that is RWG research doesn't have to be related to alternative energy all the time. It could be family related. It could be totally, it could be hobby related with the planes. It's a lot of fun. It's, I like to share that stuff, right? So like, just because I don't make content specifically around alternative energy doesn't mean that I don't believe or something like that. Like boggles my mind what people say about other people when they don't even have the source information. It boggles my mind. So what I learned through that whole process is you can't satisfy anyone. In fact, it's hard to satisfy yourself sometimes, right? I didn't make a video last year, but like three videos or something. That was very unsatisfactory to me personally. So I'm making these videos now. This one's kind of boring and just me talking, but it's, an, it's, in, it's important to me to express my feelings, show what I'm doing, and basically just talk about this stuff, right? This is my outlet, this is my source. I can stand on this pedestal that is my YouTube channel, right? My YouTube channel, I can do whatever I want here. And I can share that information with you guys and I can talk about this stuff openly. And I love, the, I love making videos where just one individual gets something out of it. I don't care if a billion people watch the video. If everyone had a negative comment except for one person, I would feel satisfied. Right? Why? Why should I feel satisfied if just one person leaves a comment? What if there's no comments? What if I turn the comments off? Will I still be satisfied? 
I should be because I'm supposed to be doing this for me. But to be fair, I like the communication with you guys. I like talking with you guys. I like going down there in the comments and chit-chatting. Sometimes it takes me two to three weeks to respond. That's because I sit down in, on a whatever Sunday night or whatever, you know, 10 o'clock at night, and I reply to comments, you know, whatever the case may be, Saturday afternoon, whenever I get a free moment, sometimes when I'm drinking coffee in the morning on Sunday or something, I... I I respond to comments when I want to sit down and communicate and have that conversation. So a lot of people can't grasp that, right? They can't grasp that, well, they didn't respond right away. No, I don't have that kind of time. I do this for fun. I do this for me. I do it for also for you and have that, that communication. This is my outlet, right? This is my outlet. I don't do any other social media except for this one, right? I have a Facebook group. It's got... Uh, if I remember right, four or five hundred people in that group, and they're not as active as you would think, but there's still people there doing stuff, and I don't even have a say in it. I do have moderation access and all that stuff, but someone else set that up, other people joined it, and they have discussions related around alternative energy most of the time, right? So it's like, that's cool, because I influence that. And so I get to influence my YouTube channel, my YouTube audience, I get to have a communication with these people without you know, without having a communication with these, with you guys. Like, I get to talk to you, and you guys, the only way you guys get to talk to back to me is if you send me an email. Some of you do know my phone number, you could call me. And others of you uh, leave a YouTube comment. So that's the communication link. So when I get, like, five YouTube comments that are negative about something, ah, oh, he doesn't believe in alternative energy research anymore, ah, oh, it's like, it drives me a little bit crazy, and it confuses me, because, like, this is a place for me to express me. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to continue doing. That's why this video is nothing about my research and related things and other crap I'm working on. This video is about me letting you guys know that this is my outlet. This is where I get to share with you guys my faith beliefs, my uh, projects, my family time, stuff that I do with my family, my wife doing projects. Like This is my outlet. And what's really cool is it took me a long time to figure out you just need to do what you enjoy. I post these videos because I enjoy them and I enjoy getting the feedback. And then it lives there forever until someone burns YouTube down or something like this. It will literally live there forever. And there's probably copies of copies of copies of copies somewhere, which is crazy because I can't believe how much data is being stored outside of my hard drives just for my stuff, more or less the entire world stuff. It's crazy to me how much storage is out there for free. Um, so yeah, this is a free platform and I get to share this with you guys. So bottom line, if you didn't hear it from the horse's mouth, that's me. It's probably not true. And if it is true, uh, confront me with something that's negative or wrong said or if I did something wrong. I've made mistakes in the past. If you haven't made a mistake and you're perfect, yeah, I don't believe you. Sorry, I just don't. Nobody's perfect, right? Jesus is perfect. That's it. That's the only person I know of that's perfect. No one is perfect. So, we all make mistakes, but in general, I say the truth of what I'm feeling, what I mean. At, sometimes I say the wrong truth at the wrong time, aka I've made mistakes in the past with, I, with things I thought were truths that were not. I apologize to all those people who I've ever crossed paths with negatively. Most people can realize by watching these YouTube videos I'm very sincere and honest and open and just share that information and when I make a mistake I like to confront myself and I tell whoever it is that I made a mistake there's lots of those along the way and I apologize to those individuals some of them personally one-on-one -on -one, and they still didn't accept my apology at that point you give it to God man you got to walk away from that situation it's damaging to your soul man so I've had some of those right but I try not to and I've learned along the way and I've learned that like making videos like this is a good way for me to express my feelings to be one-on-one -on -one with you the audience so that you can send people here and you can understand how I'm thinking and other people can see what I'm what I'm thinking and, and, and it's a it's a living document right this is a living portfolio of me rwgresearch.com Thanks for watching. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Peace and love. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you see something negative or heard something, point those people here. Because this is my communication outlet. And I'll be happy to make 
videos directly specifying certain comments if those individu individuals feel like they need more information. So if you need more, leave it down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer your questions, possibly on video. God bless you. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.